Hey, Twitter Gadget users. Wanted to put together a quick video demonstration of how you can integrate Twitter Gadget into the NetVibes homepage service. As many of you guys know, Google recently announced that they will be discontinuing the iGoogle homepage service coming November 2013. So while we currently have plenty of time to continue using Twitter Gadget um, in its iGoogle location, we wanted to start reviewing alternative homepage services um, that are out there and, and how you may be able to integrate Twitter Gadget with them. Um, Twitter Gadget has been designed from the outset to be used in limited real estate confined spaces. Um, and so by migrating to different home pages, the odds are pretty high that there is a way to already currently use Twitter Gadget in those locations. If you go to our more page, and we'll link to that into the uh, notes section of our video here, um, you'll see that you can already from, uh, from the outset integrate Twitter Gadget as a a browser sidebar or a JavaScript applet or bookmarklet. Uh, you can go to Twitter Gadget Direct in your browser, a Prism app, whatever it might be. There's lots of different ways you can already use Twitter Gadget and we're going to start reviewing more of those as people continue to look for alternative locations to use our service. Um, Thanks to Jay Kyra, by the way, uh, one of our Twitter Gadget users, for pointing out how today you can integrate Twitter Gadget directly into NetVibes. They do have an API similar to what iGoogle has or had um, for custom integrating Twitter Gadget uh, more seamlessly into their service as its own standalone uh, um, widget. Um, and we'll be looking to do that um, in the coming months. But in the meantime, there's a way to add Twitter Gadget as a direct via its URL, similar to how you integrate Twitter Gadget into Gmail um, by using a third-party uh, widget to install a a address directly or a website address directly. So how do we go about doing that inside NetVibes? Uh, once you're at your NetVibes page, go ahead and click the Add Content button um, in the top left-hand corner. When you can search for widgets, go ahead and search for web page widget. Web page widget. You can see I've already searched for this in the past. So if we search for web page widget, the first match says the web page widget enables you to enter any web page URL and keep it in your dashboard. That's exactly what we want. We want to use that direct in browser Twitter gadget URL. So we go ahead and add that to our page. I'm going to drag this guy over into our view for our screen capture. It says web page not configured. Use the edit link to set a URL. Go ahead and click the edit button. We'll give it a title. Why not call it Twitter Gadget? The about blank is the URL, and this is where we want to type the URL direct to, to Twitter Gadget. So we're going to type HTTP www.twittergadget.com slash gadget.asp. Again, www.twittergadget.com slash gadget.asp. We'll pick a height. Well, normally, we typically have it around the default Twitter Gadget height is about 450. Now it's important to point out. With the iGoogle implementation, we can dynamically adjust the height based on the APIs and libraries that Google made available to us. By installing as a browser direct installation that you see here at NetVibes, you're going to control that via this setting rather than the Twitter Gadget setting. Ultimately, once we integrate directly with NetVibes rather than installing via this third-party widget, some of that functionality hopefully, hopefully will be able to return for you. But this should do for the time being. We go ahead and click OK. And now, all of a sudden, you'll see on our NetVibes page, there we have our Twitter Gadget account. And st standard, typical functionality, just like you've come to expect with iGoogle, but integrated directly into uh, your NetVibes page. Hope that helps clarify and bring some clarity to how you go about that process. Again, thanks to Jay Kyra, Twitter Gadget user, for pointing this out to us. Stay tuned for additional videos on other alternative locations where you can install a Twitter Gadget. Um, Again, out of the box without us having to do any additional work up to this point, such as ProtoPage and, and more to come. Thanks and have a great day.